So cheers, darlings, this is Metaton here, and we are back with more Undertale. So as you can see, we can see the core off in the distance, and we had recently been seeing my lovely face. So, it is time for us to venture- oh, and look, we get a call now. Ring. See that building in the distance? That's the core. The source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyways, that's uh, where we're going to go. And the core is an elevator directly uh, to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Click. Okay, so now we're going on to the core. Let's see. Oh, R1. By the way, I love doing this, too. Call up Papyrus Nundine. Ring, ring. And the elevator says R1! But what does R stand for? Come on, Papyrus. Think about it. Hmm. It stands for red! Because that's the color of the lights! <laughs> I love those two. Ring, ring. I guess that makes sense. Uh, calling them up is just always so hilarious during these parts. Please select a location. Um, let's see, we got left floor one, right floor two. I guess we're going to our right floor two? Where did I start out? I can't remember. Maybe this was... I think I got it. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is the right one. Uh, hello there, Mr. Flaming Star Guy. Heh, <laughs> I'm Heat's Flames, man. Remember my name! Okay. Everybody, remember his name! Because clearly it's going to be very important later on. Oh! Hello there. I love hot dogs! Hey! Isn't it weird that there's snow on that guy's roof? I guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty accurate for Sans, I gotta say. Let's see. Toasty bun! Okay. Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Sure. Thanks kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. Okay. Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Okay. Another dog? Here you go. Whoops. I'm actually out of hot dogs. Here, you can have a hot cat instead. Yep. Cool. Here's that dog. Apostrophe apostrophe dog. It's short for apostrophe dog. Which is, in turn, short for... I think we're done here. I apparently have too, you know, too much room to be able to just keep filling up, so... Doesn't seem like I'm gonna get where I want to go with that. Oh! Elf has posted a picture! Dinner with the girlfriend! It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Okay. Not one to judge. Cool Skeleton posted a picture! Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend! It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Oh, darling, that's just too much for me. And... Oh, I can't forget about this one. Napsablook22 has sent me a friend request. Accept the request? Of course I'll accept Napsablook. I love you, darling. It's my cousin every... My cousin has already seemed to have rejected himself. I swear I'll have a talk with him one of these days about his, uh, about his confidence. I need to give him a boat of confidence. Make sure he believes in himself, darling. It's like I believe in him. There's an apron lying on the ground. Will I take it? Yes, I'm gonna uh, take it. Got the stained apron. And got a call about that. Of course, love y'all. An apron lying in Hotland? Now that makes sense. Yeah, cooking is definitely fire elemental. Unless you cook a popsicle. Would you really call it cooking a popsicle? And that's what you called it the last time we... Uh... Oh man, I almost forgot about that! What a mess! Oh, I gotta love this too. It took forever to hose everything off. Okay. Oh, ring. Uh, uh, hi! It's Dr. Alphys. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing based. You see those switches over there? Y you'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Okay. Alright. One, 
two, three. No, oh, okay. No three. Okay, I'm gonna press the third one. Uh, darling. Um. Uh, mm, uh, hey, it looks like you only needed to press two of them. <laughs> oh, Doctor Alphys, love you, love you so much, darling. Oh God, this one. Alphys updated status. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle, little Mayo. Okay. Well, ring. Uh, uh hey, I I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm, I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Yeah, this one was a bit annoying. Uh, I'm gonna call for help. Ring, ring. What? How's this puzzle work? Um. Whoops, I think it's uh, Undyne's turn to talk. What? No! I hate puzzles, Papyrus! You do it! Well, Alphys made the puzzle, right? You should just call her up! And say it in a hot voice. Alphys, I need help with a. audible wink. puzzle. Oh my god! No! Shut up! Fine! Give me her number! Now I'll do with a hot voice! No! That's even worse! <laughs> I just love those two. Ring ring. Audible the wink. Wait! Whose number is this? Well, I'm on my own, darlings. Let's see how well this works. Uh. Okay, so I gotta go back this way, then this way. Um, let's see. Okay, so I think what I gotta do here is now rotate around like this. No? Oh, that's right, I gotta go down here. Then that. Okay, got it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, so, oh, Alpha's updated status. OMG! People think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, that's a joke, right? Okay. Um, hmm. So, uh, there's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The laser has melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Huh. Interesting. Squeak, squeak. Indeed. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Safe. Okay. Whoa. Alpha updated status. OMG! Don't they get it? Ruins Mew Mew 2's entire character arc. She's really passionate about the Mew Mew series. My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. Okay, darling. I'm glad to see that she has such a passion for that show. Oh. Hey, you! Stop! Uh, yes, can I help you, officers? We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us that they were wandering around Hotlands right now. I know. Sounds scary, huh? Uh, yeah, sure. It's definitely, definitely scary, uh, darling. Uh, you're not scared, are you? Hope no one in the audience is scared. Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Okay, that sounds good to me. Wait. Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Uh... Hi, darlings. Bro. Are you thinking... What I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually have to totally kill you and stuff. Okay, darlings, well... These two look rather frightening, but... We're gonna try cleaning his armor. You clean RGO's 2's armor. Its cooling dirt begins to wash off. Getting warmer. Like perish and stuff. Oh! Oh. Protect me! Protect me, armor! No! You're supposed to protect me! Ugh, can't take it. Armor too hot! Like legs so hot, darling. Whoa! Now well, that is a is a hot show there. Look at it, we're getting action, drama, and plenty of nudity too. 
RG01 looks bothered by something. Let's see here. Let's whisper to him. You tell RG01 to be honest with his feelings. I... I... What? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, ah, crap. Got hit by one. Oh. D dude. I can't... I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, O2. I like... I like... Like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. <laughs> I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. Darlings, that's just a little bit dirty, I think. <laughs> oh, too. I, like, want to stay like this forever. Uh. Uh. I mean, uh. Psych, get bro! <laughs> uh, one? Yeah, bro? Do you wanna get some ice cream? After this? Sure, dude! <laughs> oh, one and oh, two are each looking at each other happily. Well, darlings, I think it's time to spare them. <laughs> oh, you gotta love how they confess their love for each other like that. It's just so, so much romance and action in this one. I was trying to remember how that one goes. It's just couldn't remember exactly. Oh, would have had a ninja rabbit. Ninja rabbits would be awesome. Let's see. Alpha's updated status. Oops, wait. How is the human doing? Um, I'm doing fine. Alpha's updated status. Top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. Well, okay. Oh, I think I know where we are now. Ring! Okay, I'm back! Uh, another dark room, huh? Don't worry. My hacking skills have got this thing covered. Oh, hello there! Are you serious? Why, yes! Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties! This is Marathon, reporting live from MTT News! An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there, reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report on. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Um, uh, There is... what well, looks like a book. There... This is what looks like another book here. Um, as per journalistic standards, a death force field surrounds the area of intrigue. Interesting, I didn't realize that we put such things in there. So, I'm gonna go with the dog. What a sensational opportunity for a story! I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this one? Why not? Because it's pretty much everything anyways. Okay, report this one. Yes, report. Attention viewers, our correspondent has found a dog. Cue audience Oz. That's right, folks. It's the feel-good story of the year. Look at this little ears, tiny paws, fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. <laughs> That's right! That dog is a bomb! But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. <laughs> well, now. Oh, my! It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That prison's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb. Even my words are. Explosive, ladies and gentlemen. Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes! Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible! How disturbing! Our nine viewers are going to love watching this! Good luck, darling! Ring? D don't worry. I've installed a bomb defusing program on your phone. 
use the defuse option when the bomb is in the defuse zone. Now, go get him! Okay. Well, let's see. And got it! Wait, was I supposed to attack that? I think I was meaning to do something else. I hope that doesn't, like, somehow negatively affect the, uh, story for that. Okay. Try for one in the next bottom left. Next. Uh, bottom left. Okay, so down here. Okay. Oh! Oh, crap. Okay. Okay. Diffuse. Oh, crap. Tick. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and let's see. Come on. Like, I don't really know if I gotta attack it or. Oh, come on! Well, you know what? They're bombs, and I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, just as long as that doesn't affect the, uh. Oh, the, uh, true pacifist storyline. I was kinda, like, afraid of that part, but I'm like, I don't think that it would, but. Still. Okay. There's that one. And here's this one. Okay. And what else do we have left here? Oh, that one. Wait, get over here. And boom. Great job. Head for the center. I'm using... Uh, EM fields to trap the glass of water there. Where, where, where's the glass of water? The center? Okay, there we go. Diffuse the extremely agile glass of water. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Well done, darling! You've deactivated all of the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds! Goodbye, darling! Darling? Why are you still here? Uh... It seems the bomb isn't going off. Bring? That's... B because... While you were monologuing, I... I... F f fix... Um, I to change. Oh no! You deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses! It seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human! Curse you, Doctor Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers in tuning in. Until next time, darling. Wow. We really showed him, huh? Um... Uh, hey! I know I was kind of weird at first... But I really think I'm getting more... Uh... More... More confident about guiding you. So, uh, don't worry about that b big... Dumb robot. I'll protect you from him. And if it's really came down to it... We could just turn... Um, never mind. Later. <laughs> okay. Looks like we finally found Jan. Hey, Jan, so I've been told that you need to be killed and everything. Oh, wait. So, looks like you're trying to make an omelet one day. When suddenly, the bird people came out. You're like, oi, we're pissed off, mate! We don't want you to make omelets out of them. You need me to come out of vegan substitute eggs. We don't want you using our real eggs for that! He's like, no! My eggs! My eggs! I gotta have my helmet! Oh god! Someone turned up the gas too high and now Jan has no home. Because now it was burned down to the ground!